Remember that when we think of the production of inventory, we have the component parts, we've got the direct materials, we've got the direct labor, and we've got things like the variable overhead. These are gonna be the change. So materials, labor, and overhead. We're concentrating here on the variable overhead. Note that as we look at these components, then we can break these out into their further parts. So in other words, if we look at a contribution margin type of income statement, we will see a line item for direct materials. If we have some variance or difference from the actual to the budgeted number with regards to direct materials, we can break that down further into its component parts, that being the price standards and the quantity standards. So note that, it, that the difference on the comparison of the budget to actual financial statements, the budgeted income statement to the actual income statement, won't break it down as, well, as much as we would like because we can then take that variance, that difference, break it down into its components. In other words, is it the price of the materials that caused the difference? And or is it the quantity of the materials that were used? Did we use too many or too few materials? So the materials, uh, the direct materials will then be broken down into the component parts of the standard costs of price standards. What's the standard price for the material? And then quantity standards. How much does it typically make or take of a material to make a unit? We have a similar condition with the direct labor. If we consider the direct labor on the income statement, the budget versus actual, we see that difference. We want to further break that down into its component parts and we'll have the standards of the rate standards and the time standards. So if we break down to the, to the standards, we could say, okay, there's a difference in direct labor expense on the budget versus actual on the income statement. Well, is that due to the difference in rates? Did we pay people different rates than we had expected comparing the standard to actual rates? Or was it the time standard? Did people work more or less hours than we had budgeted them to do so? So we had the standard uh, time standards, the budget versus actual. And then the variable overhead, we have a similar kind of condition with terms with the variable overhead. We have the rate standards versus the activity standards. So note, again, we can take these component parts, we can take these uh, pieces that will be on the, on the budgeted financial statements, and we can further break them down, and we'll use these tools to do so, and that will give us more information to go and say, okay, where is the specific area that we can go into our system and improve? Because we'll know a better idea of where the improvement is needed.